Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on group isomorphism. In the previous video, what is group isomorphism, how it can be achieved and one example problem can be discussed in the previous videos. Now I am discussing another example problem on group isomorphism. Okay, so let G comma star and g dash comma mod 3 be two groups where g can be defined as set of 1 comma omega comma omega square and g dash is equal to set of 0 comma 1 comma 2 show that g isomorphic to g1 okay now solution here g comma star is a group where g is equal to set of 1 comma omega comma omega square. Next g dash comma mod 3 is a group where g dash is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2. Next to prove the isomorphism between two groups g and g uh, g dash g and g dash okay that is g is isomorphic to g dash the function f Mapping from G to G dash satisfies three conditions. The first condition is F is 1 to 1 and second one is F is on to and third one is F is isomorphism. Okay, sorry, I, F is homomorphism. By satisfying these three conditions by function F mapping from G to G dash, hence we can say that there is a isomorphism between two groups G and G dash. Okay. Next, first one is F from G to G dash satisfy the one to one condition. Okay. Here, what is uh, G? G can be defined as one comma omega comma omega square with respect to the operation star. So, star is the binary operation. The elements in the G are 1 comma omega comma omega square. So column wise also 1 comma omega comma omega square. Now 1 into 1 that is 1. 1 into omega that is omega. 1 into omega square that is omega square. Next omega into 1 that is omega. Omega into omega omega square. Omega into omega square. Omega into omega square is equal to omega cube. We know already that omega cube is equal to 1. Okay, omega cube is equal to 1. We have already know that. Next one. Omega square into 1. Omega square. Omega square into omega. That is omega cube. That is equal to 1. Omega square into omega square. That is equal to omega power 4. It can be written as omega cube into omega. Omega cube value is 1. 1 into omega. That is equal to omega. Okay, now go for G dash. G dash contains three elements 0, 1, 2. Here 0, 1, 2, column by 0, 1, 2. Okay, 0, mod 3, 0. 0 plus mod 3, 0 is nothing but we have to add these two elements, perform the uh, mod 3 operation with result. Okay. Here 0 plus mod 3 0 that is equal to 0 plus 0 0 0 mod 3 is equal to 0. Next one 0 mod 3 1. So 0 plus 1 1 1 mod 3 is equal to 1. Next 0 mod 3 2 that is nothing but 0 plus 2 that is 2 2 mod 3 is equal to 2. Okay. Next 1 mod 3 0 is nothing but 1 plus 0 that is 1 1 mod 3 is equal to 1 next 1 mod 3 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 2 mod 3 is equal to 2 next 1 mod 3 2 is nothing but 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 mod 3 is equal to 0 here it is there that 1 plus mod 3 2 that is equal to first we have to add these two elements 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 mod 3 is equal to 0. Okay. In the same way, 2 mod 3, 2 is nothing but we have to add 2 elements. 2 plus 2, that is 4. 
4 mod 3 is equal to 1. Next, 2 plus mod 3, 1 is nothing but we have to add 2 elements, 2 plus 1, that is 3, 3 mod 3 is equal to 0. According to that, we have to fill all the values in this table. So, now 1 to 1 function means this function, this is g comma star, this is g dash comma mod 3. Now, 1 to 1 means 1 corresponding element is 0, omega corresponding element is 1, omega square corresponding element is 2. Okay, 1 corresponding element is 0, omega corresponding element is 1, omega square corresponding element is 2. Then, the function f of 1 is equal to 0, f of omega is equal to 1, f of omega square is equal to 2. Okay. Now it can be represented in the graphical. So here g comma star contains three elements, uh, 1 comma omega comma omega square and uh, g dash contains three elements, g dash comma mod 3 contains three elements, 0, 1, 2. Okay. Here 1 has a image 0, w has a image 1, omega square has a image 2. For every element in g, there exists one element in g dash. Okay. 1 points to 0. Omega is related with 1. Omega square is related with 2. For every element in g, there exists an element in g dash. Hence, we can say that f is 1 to 1. Okay. Next one. Second one is f is onto. f is onto means for every element in g dash, there exists one element in G. So, hence we can say that F is onto. For every element, for example, X, X belongs to G dash. For every element in G dash, I am taking X is one element. Then there exists an element that is X dash. X dash belongs to G. Okay. For every element in G dash, there exists an element in G. Okay. Hence, we can say that F is on 2. Okay. Now, considering this figure. So, here 0, the element in G dash is 0. 0 has a pre-image 1 in G. 1 has an element in G dash. There, there exists a pre-image omega in G. Okay. 2 has a pre-image omega square. Okay, every element in G dash has a pre-image in G. Hence, we can say that F is on 2. Okay, 0 has a pre-image 1, 1 has a pre-image W, 2 has a pre-image omega square. So, hence, on 2 condition is satisfied. Hence, we can say that F is on 2. Okay, next third one is F is homomorphism. F is homomorphism means, so the condition, the function F from G to G dash, where G is multiplication operation. G is with respect to multiplication operation. G dash is with respect to mod 3 operation. Okay. Now, so F from G to G dash is homomorphism. Then F of A star B is equal to f of a mod 3 sorry f of a star b is equal to f of a mod 3 f of b this is the homomorphism property so a comma b belongs to g so this condition must and should satisfy okay now, I am taking two elements for any two elements. Here, we are taking two elements in G. Okay. A comma B belongs to G. Here, I am taking two elements for any two elements. Omega comma omega square belongs to G. Then, these two elements are multiplied because G is with respect to star operation. So, that F of a star b. Here a plus omega is there. b plus omega square is there. f of a star b is nothing but f of omega into omega square is equal to f of a mod 3 f of b. f of a and 
एफ ऑफ ए मीन्स एफ ऑफ डब्ल्यू प्लस मार्ट थ्री एफ ऑफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर एफ ऑफ ए मीन्स दिस वन एफ ऑफ बी इज दिस वन एफ ऑफ डब्ल्यू प्लस मार्ट थ्री एफ ऑफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर Here f of a is nothing but f of omega plus mod three. F of b is nothing but f of omega square. Now substitute these values. F of omega value is one and f of omega square value is two. One plus mod three two. So we have to add these two elements. One plus two three three mod three that is equal to zero. So therefore f of omega into omega square here. A is equal to omega, b is equal to omega square. That is equal to f of a is nothing but f of omega plus mod three, and f of b is nothing but f of omega square. So this condition is satisfied according to the property of homomorphism. Here a comma b belongs to G. Here I am taking omega comma omega square is equal to G. Okay, hence F satisfies the homomorphism property. So now the function F mapping from G to G dash satisfies these three conditions: one to one property, on to property, and homomorphism property. By satisfying these three conditions between the two groups G and G dash, hence we can say that Jehov isomorphism between the two groups is that. G is isomorphic to G dash. So this symbol is isomorphism symbol. Okay. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Divela Srinivasa Rao. D I V V E L A S R I N I V A S Y A R I O. Divela Srinivasa Rao. Thank you.